In this appendix video, we investigate how to use free open source software to do general relativity calculations. Our primary tool will be a computer algebra system called Maxima. If you want a copy of this, go to maxima.sourceforge.net, click the download menu item, click the link to the SourceForge download page, and choose your operating system. Generally, you want to grab the latest version, then download and install. In the description box is the Maxima code shown here. Copy and paste this into a word processor. Here I'm using Notepad under Windows. Then save it with the extension WXM. Here I'm saving it as gr.wxm. And this should create a Maxima file with the distinctive icon shown here. Double click to open and you should end up in the following Maxima session. Select Evaluate All Cells from the Cell menu or hit Ctrl R to run the code. Given any metric tensor you've entered, this will evaluate all the differential geometry objects we've been talking about in this series, the Christoffel symbols, the curvature tensor, and the Rishi tensor. The initial code contains the metric for special relativity, that is, for an inertial reference frame, so all these objects are simply zero to start. So here, let's take that and put in our metric for the uniform acceleration case. We have e to the minus 2ax1, for the G11 component, and the same thing for the G44 without the minus sign. We run it, run all the code. We see the Rishi tensor there was all zeros. Here's the metric tensor printed out. Um, and then if we go down, when we look at the Christoffel symbols, these are the things that give us the accelerations. Notice the A's that appear there for the gamma 1, which has to do with the acceleration uh, in the X1 direction. All of the curvature tensor components are zero, telling us that this is a flat space. And we'll do more with that in the next uh, video.